In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a blog page with a single category using custom fields. What you want to do is go into your WordPress dashboard, of course. I'm going to click on Add New Page. So I'll click Add New. I want to create a page for, uh, let's just pick a category. So we'll title this Blogging. Down below, what I want to do is I want to add a custom field. I'll click on Enter, Add Enter New and what I want to type is query underscore ARGS under value I'm going to do category equals or CAT equals and then whatever my category ID number is two things here if you don't see a custom field section up here under your post editor what you'll do is you'll scroll to the top there's a section that says screen options if you click on that drop down it brings down this little drop menu just click on custom fields or select custom fields and that should enable the custom fields option underneath your post editor and then you can go ahead and type in the name and the value that you want to insert in my case uh, or in your case if you don't know the category ID number to find it all you have to do is go over to your posts click on categories that'll bring up your category page and in this section all you have to do is in my case I want to know what the ID number is for my cat blogging category so I'll click on edit and in the URL it'll have a section that reads uh, category and uh, tag ID it looks something like this this is the value you're looking for so in my case it's 17 So if I go back to my page that I was creating I'll go ahead and type 17 as my value and I'm done the benefit of doing it uh, this way, uh, before publishing my page, the page attributes, I'm going to select from my template, uh, blog template, because I'm creating not just a page, I'm creating a page that pulls in basically blog posts under that specific category. Um, the benefit of doing it this way versus linking to your category in, say, something like a custom menu, where you type essentially your blog dot com slash category slash blogging is that it gives you a cleaner URL structure and shorter URL structure because I'm basically eliminating category from the URL but the other benefit of doing it this way is that when I go publish this if I'm using custom sidebars in which case I am I can select the sidebar that I want to use so let's say I had a custom sidebar for my blogging category where my content matches uh, my sidebar content matches the content for the page. When I go publish this, here's what my end result looks like. Click on View Page, and I have a blog page with a single category where it's pulling all the blog posts I've ever written filed under blogging. So another blog post, another blogging blog post, another blogging blog post, so on and so forth, and I have a custom sidebar where it's pulling ads that match the content on the page. So that's how I would create a blog page with a single category. You can add multiple categories, it just add a comma in between every, so if you want to do blogging and analytics together, you would do whatever category ID number it is for that analytics category. Hit publish and you'll have a page with two categories, so on and so forth. So hope that's helpful and I'll catch you on the next one.